Um, sorry, everyone. I can't really get a video out. I just can't really find the motivation to make anything, and I'm still working on a couple of videos, uh, who the titles of which I am showing on screen now. So uh, please just be patient. I might have them out after the new year. No, they will come eventually. Uh, that's the end of the video. I don't really have any, uh, anything else planned. But um, since you all clicked on this video and you saw that it was um, a lot longer than what you saw in... or what you've heard right now, I'm going to uh, tell you a little story. One with morals pertaining to the consequences of combat and also a lot of action. There's a lot of action. This story is called The Toucan, The Cricket, and The Salamander. One boring, peaceful day in the Amazon rainforest, there was a cricket, and they, he was friends with a toucan. The cricket and the toucan were in the same school, they had the same interests, and they were even in the same class. Every day when the cricket sang, a salamander came and tried to eat him, because the salamander hated music. He thought it created a lot of noise. The salamander always missed, though, because the cricket was simply too small for him to catch. So, this time, he tried a different strategy. The toucan was at the pond, watching the fish swim and smack snacking on plums, and watching out for his friend, the cricket, at the same time. The toucan was something of a bodyguard to the cricket. The toucan knew the salamander might come, so he had a booby-trapped plum pit waiting. When the salamander jumped up at the cricket, the toucan shot plum pits at him. The salamander ended up in the hospital. He had to get stitches because the pits were both loaded and smoking. Later that evening, when the cricket and the toucan were having tea, that same salamander arrived with a horde of wildebeest and said, Got news for you! The toucan flew at the speed of light and somehow turned into actual lightning because he was going too fast and blasted a single truck into oblivion, but also missed by a mile, literally. The cricket slashed the salamander 199 times within 5 seconds, that's one fast cricket, but sadly did not hit the salamander one single time. Next, the toucan shocked the salamander with a total of 20 billion volts from the charge, and then the cricket slashed at the near-dead-by-one salamander, and that single blow killed it, but there were five others, which were much more of a challenge. The toucan proceeded to grab the edge of the salamander's tail and swing it around violently. As the salamander flew into the air, the cricket drew his sword and slashed at the it five times. Then one of the salamanders were down, Four to go. Then a bunch of other salamanders appeared and swiped at the toucan, but it shot rocks at the salamander, and the cricket drew another sword and struck the salamanders as they came. Then he cut down a grass stalk onto the oncoming horde, but they were too quick. The cricket then called for help. As quick as the message came to them, they darted out and drew their swords, and if you were there, all you could see was sharp-edged blades and salamanders dashing around. One of the crickets cut a six-foot wooden beam down, which was from the nearby civilization, and the beam then made a big noise before taking out 15 salamanders, probably because they all hate noise. The toucan then called for help too, and immediately had 50 more come, and they all spat turbocharged seeds, with a total of 55 million, and took out 55 at once, which means that it took out 1 million seeds to knock out one single salamander. The king salamander then appeared and smashed one big arm down, and took out one toucan and four crickets, and then spun around rapidly and created a 50-foot-tall dust devil, which, in case you're wondering, is a tornado made out of sand. Then they all sang at once, and the crickets made sang a song, and the toucans did a dance that summoned a massive golem, and it punched the king salamander with maximum power. The king salamander then swung around its huge tail and double-edged with a chop that punctured a scale. The golem then fired a large beam that destroyed 15 salamanders. Then the humongous golem punched the ground and an energy field around it. It was at maximum power. 
The golem then charged its energy, which the process would take a while to complete, but it could not be attacked. Then while the battle raged down below, the king salamander charged its energy too. The battle was in full swing, and it could be heard from miles away. The toucan then sliced five trees and swung them around and wiped out a radio tower. Salamander is then cut up a melon and used its juices to make the toucan slip on wet ground and then get stuck in mud, but it flew out immediately and acupunctured the salamanders and then shot the seeds at them. It would still be a while before the golems finished charging, and the king salamander finished charging. It looks like animals become charged faster than golems, said the toucan. Then, after waking up, having fully charged its power, the king salamander jumped and made a tsunami of sound when it crashed down. The toucan flew with the others to take it more than they would on the ground. The shocked king salamander, charged up by its inner power, shot flames out of its mouth. The heat was intense, but everyone dodged it, except for a few unlucky crickets, who got burned and nearly died. The toucan then retaliated with a strike from a few seeds, and a blow from its beak which had been heated up before lashing out. The king salamander responded with a massive claw, which had been turned electric. The toucan dodged it, and the cricket struck with six furious slashes that were also very swift, and the golem was finished charging, and it let out a big power blast from its arm, and a massive chop that made the ground shake like there was no tomorrow, and you used its aura to maximum force, and charged the king salamander at the speed of sound. The news were watching from a safe distance. The golem charged up for like five seconds, and went all out with a massive beam, and took out all the salamanders except for the king salamander, who survived the outburst with a shield made of pure energy. The golem then called for more, then four charged golems came out of the ground, and the king salamander did the same, and the golems fused together and made one giant golem, and then the king salamander did the same, uh, with a massive outburst of energy from both of them. The battle raged on! The King Salamander eventually was tragically defeated, but there was still a fight to be fought. The Salamander's numbers were small, but since they could no longer have their golem, they were vulnerable. The crickets charged up their inner power, and so did the toucans. It, they took only five seconds to charge, and they used all their mass energy to blow the salamanders all the way into the distance. And, as luck would have it, meteors fell on all the remaining salamanders, and the toucans and the crickets knew they had won. But the salamanders were simply an illusion created by the mass power, and then the salamanders attacked, and the toucans and the crickets used their power to create a massive tower of water, and then they dropped us the salamanders and washed them away. But they were unfortunately still alive. What is the point of this? said the cricket. All this war is ruining us, said the toucan. You know what, let's call off this war, said one of the salamanders. After the battle, they all went back home and had a celebration with food, and tea, and popsicle stiffed in caramel, and so much more. I guess we won, said the toucan with a whole popsicle in its mouth. You think? Of course we did, said the cricket. But I think we've also learned a lifelong lesson. Don't start war for awful reasons, said the cricket. I think that's a good lesson, said the toucan. The end. So yeah, that was a real video that I uh, just made. Yes, I know the plot doesn't make any sense, and it's just fighting. It's all just fighting. But um, I also wrote this story around six years ago, so it's naturally not going to be that good. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't get any other videos out. I hope that this video provides some pretty funny content, and I will see you in the next one.